I'm on my way from misery to happiness to be. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right. Another YouTube video, no mundane very many. Uh, through shearing season, I thought it'd date loads, but I haven't. We're here today, my good friend James. That's James there. That's Martin. That's Barry for Pennycook. Uh, we're here to shear some lambs, 350, 360, something like that. Crossbred lambs, mule lambs, Suffolk cross lambs, or ewe lambs um, that he's shearing. Uh, a few benefits of shearing ewe lambs. For a start, they don't give as much wool as hogs when it comes to next year. Uh, go to winter and they stay a lot cleaner. Folks say that when you shear them, they, they go in and thrive and uh, they eat more and all that. I don't know, I read a wee thing, I'll put a wee link to a thing I read, they did a study in Wales about it. And the uh, uh, results were... Probably tend to the fact that it doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of growth rates. But, keeps them far tidier. Um, and it's definitely, if you're going to be tupping your hogs 100%, I think you should be shearing them. Um, it helps with getting rid of the big scuts, so lambing time comes. Easier for lambs to get a souk. And uh, it came as like this time of year, you send your hogs to winter and all the farmers have been cutting their hedges, they get covered in briars and all sorts, so. It helps prevent that a wee bit too, and it keeps me in a job. So anyway, here we go. So, we had a weather on this lot. The boss man did say before we started, any weather's cool. Yeah. Martin's got it. Crisis averted, here he comes. Get the Baywatch music on. That's the oh, I, that's the weather that the the farmer said. Don't shear the weathers. Just give me a shot. <laughs> Just take the belly off them. Anyway, oh, it's called Barry now. Ah, uh, you can let Barry, you can let Barry, Barry, Barry go. Good. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ten. I'm happy to that, you. Good for, good for the skin in the mud bath. Okay, you some camera boys, you look good. It's like, um, uh, what is it, Chuckle Brothers? First lot done. Talk to the phone. First lot done. The meal yow lambs. A lot of them just bought in from a local farmer, Dan Logan. She get the credit. <laughs> Dan Logan. Rotter. They're looking well. Even better because my head's in the road. First job. Just the Suffolk's to go now. 170 of them. Cruisy. Cruisy day. Piss in the rain. What else should you be doing? Me and my mate Barry here. This is the kind of stuff you like for YouTube videos, just a wee bit more excitement. Not much excitement right enough, but it's good. No got a clean gather here. 
James managed to miss one. <laughs> the pen is about 20 square yards. That's great. <laughs> Go on, you've got it. Yes. <laughs> some game, some game. Tell you what, that looks like my Nashua. Sure. I know, you just like so lost there, I don't know what you're doing. I can't, I can't hold it up, I can't hold it up. Indeed. Why no? Why no? Because I'm doing a I'm saying to I can do it too though, watch. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> right, this goes James. Yeah, James, uh, James who? The boss James. Cheers, James. Uh, the boss James. <laughs> <laughs>